Yo, what up? How's it going, guys? My name is Jordan, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at Town against Port Vale. Uh, that will be played this weekend, which is Saturday, the 24th of August 2019. So, Port Vale are the next visitors to come to Blundell Park after a 2 all draw with Colchester. Um, we're going to be taking a look at their form and the, the, the table there. Their danger men and our predicted lineup um, and my score predictions and just a couple of other bits. So, um, if you do go into a Joyce preview, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you are new around here. So without further ado, let's get into the so video. So looking at it, Port Vale have had a very strong start to the season. They've um, drawn three and they've won one so far. They've they've drawn one all on three occasions. They've drawn one all with Colchester, Northampton and Salford. Uh, but they won on Tuesday night against uh, Forest Green. They won 2-1. Uh, Carabao Cup aside, which they lost 2-1 to Burton Albion. And I believe they've got new owners at the club now who are really interested in taking Port Vale, well, up the football league pretty much, um, and they had a good summer of recruiting as well, um, and and of course I've got a decent manager in charge in the likes of, in in John Askey. So he's he's always been a very reliable manager, and um, he he sets his teams to play well. So um, yeah, let let's get into the danger men of Port Vale. So I picked out a few. First of all is Tom Pope. He's always been a danger man. He's that tall physical striker. Um, knows where the Knows where the back of the net is pretty much. Um, Mark Cullins and also is also a good striker as well. Uh, he's picked up a goal. Um, the likes of Richie Bennett and David Amu as well. Um, two good players. They're, they're on two goals apiece so far this season. So um, Mark Cullins and Tom Pepper on one goal. But um, those men in particular are to look out for. Uh, especially Tom Pope. Um, I reckon we've got a very good physical challenge if he plays on if he plays tomorrow. But um, I'll see about that. David Amu. He's always been decent. Um, he's he looked decent last year when he came with Cambridge. And, um, of course, he was one of the recruits that joined Port Vale in summer. Uh, same with Mark Cullen, I believe. Um, he's he's always been a good striker for this level as well. So, yeah, we've, we've got some um, got some tricky opponents tomorrow, I, I believe, in Port Vale. Right, let's get into the uh, predicted lineup. Now. So, in goal, pff, straightforward. Uh, James McEwen, he'll be my goalkeeper. Um, just reliable, isn't he? Um... My back four, um, the two centre halves. I'm going to go for Luke Waterfall and um, Harry Davis. I think that um, Erman is still injured. I think I think he's still injured, so that's why I'm going to go for Davis again. Um, uh, uh, Luke Hendry is one of the fullbacks, and I'm going to go for. I like I liked Hewitt as a as a as a right back. So I want to put him there again. We gave Sebastian Ring a chance. And looking at it, he didn't do that. He didn't do that badly actually. When you look at it, um, I saw the highlights. He didn't do that bad. But I, I mean, I'm not sure where he played. I believe it was um, was he full back? And I think they moved Hewitt up to midfield. I I like Hewitt as a right back. So I'd I'd have him back at right back and put Hendry back at left back. But um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna go for that. Uh, midfield three, uh, Whitehouse, Hessenthal, and Clifton. Pretty easy for me. And uh, the front three of Ogbu, Green and Hansen. Oh, oh, by the way, what a goal Matt Green scored the other day. Uh, I, ma I managed to see it. What an absolute peach of a goal as well. Um, oh, I forgot about the league table as well. Uh, Port Vale currently sit in 11th after four games. Um, of course, they've got six points. We sit 14th after four games. We're on five points. So, realistically, um, I say realistically, if we, if we win tomorrow, we could be in and around. In and around the playoff places tomorrow. I generally think that if we can win. But of course, still a million miles to go. So let's get on to my score prediction. And this is a very tough game to predict. Just because of the fact that Port Vale have had a very good start to the season pretty much. They've looked strong. They've got some quality players. And we've we've got one we've got one uh, task on our hands tomorrow. Um we've not we've got a decent record against Port Vale at Blundell Park though. We've beaten them on our like, well, we beat them last year there. Uh, we did the double over Port Vale last year, beating them 1-0 on both occasions, I believe. Yeah, we beat them 1-0 on both occasions. Uh, no, no, we uh, we won 2-0 last year. We won 2-0 at Blundell Park, and then we won 1-0. Yeah, that's it. We won 1-0 there last year. So, um, yeah, we've got very tough games in the rounds, especially the fact that they've beaten Forest Green at the weekend as well, which is absolutely nuts. Um, I'm going to... I think they'll look where we're out this week. I generally think so. So I'm going to go for... Right, you know what? My prediction, um, Mariners 2, Port Vale 0. I think we'll win 2-0. Um, we've got a tough game in Aranzo, but we've got to be right up for it. If 
If we can somehow play like we did in the second half against Colchester on Tuesday night, which I've heard we played absolutely brilliantly in the second half. I've heard we were shocking first half. If we could play like that, I reckon we've got a very good chance of winning. But um, like I said, it's going to be a tough game. Um, Port Vale are a decent side. They've always been a decent side, in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to go for a 2-0 win tomorrow. I think that'll be my prediction. So this is going to be the end of this preview guys, if you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, match day vlogs are back tomorrow, let me just address something, uh, you might have known, some some will know they want a match day vlog for, um, I forgot now, um, Colchester, that's it, they want a match day vlog for that, uh, the reason why I had to go, because um, I do a football, because I go to football, I had to be there on Tuesday night, because we've got, we've got pre-season coming up in Doncaster on on Sunday, so I, I couldn't be there unfortunately. Um, that needed, that needed. I needed to go there pretty much um, on Tuesday. I was well gutted, especially the fact I missed four goals. And I reckon it would have been a good video. But um, no, the back, we're back to normal. Um, I'll, I'll be going to the Macclesfield game on Tuesday, so that won't be a problem at all. But um, of course, if any future events like these happen again, I'll let you know via via Instagram pretty much. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Uh, match day vlog tomorrow night. Uh, keep an eye out. Other than that, my name is Jordan, and I'll see you on my next video. Until then, peace.